Fisher, I know you think the shortest distance to solving this problem is to go after Shetland. You might be right. Unfortunately, the diplomatic situation surrounding the Walsh incident is not softening. We are less than 24 hours from open war on the Korean Peninsula. We've located the battery that launched the missile against the Walsh. If there is any credence to the North Korean claim that the launch was unintentional, we need to prove it. And fast. Fisher, it's starting to look like war is unavoidable. JCOS is asking all sources for current division-level intelligence. So, besides stopping World War III, is there anything else I can do for you this evening? The base commander should have up-to-date intel about NKA divisional strength down the Kaesong Moonsan approach. I'll try to schedule an appointment with his secretary. Fisher, since everyone is asking everyone for intel, I'd love to have a few chips at the big table. What can I get you, Will? Looks like this battery has repair and maintenance capability for mechanized warfare support. Any shipping or repair logs you can recover would be a big help. I'll find what I can. Good work, Fisher. Looks like they track shipping and repair through four separate departments. Gotta love military bureaucracy. See if you can get the logs from the other three. Now serving number 67. Alright, well, that's our work done. Let the control room take over. Who's in the control room? How should I know? So what? We're just going to leave the missile hanging there? Orders. Deliver cargo to Loading Bay at Facility 27-290. Nothing in there about working a bunch of cranes that we're not trained on. Fair enough.
Is someone moving around out there? Who? I don't know who. That's why I'm worried. No one here. No signs of the other. Light should not be out. You too suspicious. You can never be too suspicious. Someone moving around out there? Who? I don't know who. That's why I'm worried. Nothing. Wide open. Sir, we we have finished our preliminary inspection of the West Launcher. And what is your report, Captain? We did every test we could, sir. And? And well, there was no malfunction. I 
wants you to run every test again. Then run whatever test the captain forgot until you find out what happened with my missile. Get out of my sight. That seals it. The missile came from here, but they didn't launch it intentionally. So that's a good thing. We can avoid a war. Problem is that someone launched the missile intentionally. Isn't that someone Doug Shetland using Zerkezi's algorithms? That seems likely, but I still need to see if there's a Dvorak fingerprint on the BIOS of the launcher that fired the missile. Good work, Sam. One more shipping log to go, and we'll have an accurate picture of their mechanized capabilities in the region. I'll find it. I see what you're thinking, Fisher. If they're just going to throw protocol to the wind and leave the warhead case unlocked... Even detonating them won't destroy the battery. No, but it will make an awful big mess. Good job, Sam. From the parts and transport requests, it looks like this facility is significantly more important than our latest estimates. Well, you know me. Always where the action is.
Good work, Sam. I'm scanning the BIOS now. Yeah, that's a Dvorak fingerprint. Where did it come from? Hokkaido? The displace offices? Seoul. What? As in South Korea? Are you telling me the U.S. just got drawn into a war protecting the people that sank the Walsh? I can't trace it back farther than Seoul. Well, what do I do? Well, for now, we still need to stop them from launching another missile. Get to the other launcher. The NKA just committed. They're coming across the DMZ. We're at war. Why? We just found proof they didn't launch the missile. Good lord, speaking of missile launches, that battery just lit up like a smoker getting off an airplane. They're not targeting our ships, are they? Active radar is up. It looks like a launch is imminent. Fisher, you need to abort that missile. You got it, boss. Is someone moving around out there? Who? I don't know who. That's why I'm worried. Nothing. Good work, Fisher. I'm uploading the arming sequence codes for Grimm. Lambert, if worse comes to worst, and I'm still here. You don't even need to say it, Sam. Warhead won't arm until it's a few hundred meters from its target. If I can dig up the abort codes. Good thinking. Check launch control directly under the platform. I'm on my way. Make it fast, Fisher. Flight time on that missile is three minutes. Primary target is on scope. All green. Set to track one through twelve. One through twelve. Confirmed. Engagement interface is online. Target tracking active. Check. Flight path and targeting computer are showing all greens. Check. Fire circuit shows green. Check. Code lock circuit shows green. Check. Primary target tracking readback start. Ready for readback. Primary target carrier, bearing 218, range 120 kilometers. Good work, Sam. Those are the abort codes. 
I still need to bypass the override circuit from the missile control room. Hurry. The missile is closing on the USS Ronald Reagan at top speed. Uh, hold on. Did you just tell me I need to win one for the Gipper? Uh, dude, what does that even mean? Uh, never mind. You're right, Grim. I am old. Good job, Sam. Missile aborted. That's it? It's dust? No, but the warhead can't arm. Even if it gets past the Reagan's phalanx, it'll hit the hull and crumple like a beer can. Crumpling beer cans? That's what sailors are best at, I guess. Very funny. You need to make your way to extraction. Right. I'm on my way. <laughs> 